Hi guys, welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki Manny Photography and Orms blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I want to show you guys the last tutorial about Photoshop basics and tools part 10 and let's get started. Okay, so as you guys can see I'm on my original layer already and I'm not going to create a retouch layer or a duplicate for in the moment now because I quickly just want to show you guys how the foreground and background color or pretty much just your foreground colors work. So at the moment we've got white as foreground and black as a background. So if I'm going to select my brush now, like I showed you in the brush tool, how to work with the application menu here at the top. When I'm now selecting my brush tool, I'm working with the Vacuumintinous 4 board again so I can change my brush size really quickly here. Um, when I paint now, I can just paint with a white foreground color and if I switch this now with this small button over here, this icon, the arrow icon, it's black as a foreground and white as a background. Then I can paint with black. Now say for instance you want different color, you can just double click here on the color and you will directly brought into the color picker. Then over here you can just select from a different color say red or whatever you want to use you can also choose from different colors here or you can enter different RGB readings in here if you want to okay so I'm gonna keep it now to a dark blue just go over here dark blue say okay that and now I've got dark blue as a foreground color and white as a background color then I can switch that again double click on here and say for instance take a new color say red say okay that now I've got red and blue as my new foreground colors and now currently red is selected so I can paint with red or I can change that again and paint with black so this comes in quite handy sometimes if I also want to change that again I can just press X really quickly to just either paint red blue whatever so it's just like another shortcut if you press D that changes again to black and white foreground color and you're back to the standard settings. Okay, so that's pretty much how I work with my foreground colors. Then I'm just going to fall back here in my new make layer in the history panel. Okay, and on my original layer, now I'm going to create a quick duplicate. Just going to rename that to retouch. Okay, and in the retouch layer, basically I want to show you the last step, which is the masking tool. Now, before we even start going into the mask, I want to show you guys a quick trick here. Double click onto the masking tool and you will be directly brought into the quick mask options. So either you can say color indicator is mask my areas, the mask areas, or the selected areas. So I want to keep it to selected areas. I want to have my color at the red and 50% opacity. So if I'm going to say OK now, with my brush again, just make my brush a little bigger. For those of you who don't have this Vacuum Continuous 4 board, you will have, go, have to go up here to the top and just select your brush size over here. Okay, then now I'm just going to paint in really roughly now. Say for instance, I just want to remove the jacket or paint out the jacket. Then I could just really quickly mask on here and everything that is red will be selected. So I can just really quickly do that and do it very roughly if I want to. Quickly like that. Okay. And even a little bit more and that's it. And if I'm going to go out of that now, I've created a nice selection around that already. So on my retouch layer, I do have a new selection really quickly and easy. But to be honest with you guys, this is not a good way of doing it. I would rather use the lasso tool or the pen tool to create a nice perfect selection to cut things out and then obviously feather that a little bit. Okay, yeah, so I can just press Command D again if I want to. I can press Q and you directly get into this mode in the quick selection mode. So let's press Q again so we're in it. Now I can paint really quickly, press Q and I'm out of that again. Press Q, I can see it out of it again. So if I'm like doing a lot of uh, selecting, then I can press Q, do paint a little bit, press Q. Okay, I still need to paint a little bit, then paint over here. Press Q, okay, good, press that. So maybe you even painted too much. Now how do you get rid of that again? That's pretty easy actually. You can just press your different foreground colors over here and then with white you can just deselect that whole area again so it's pretty easy working with this as well black you're painting in white you're painting out press Q and you can see your whole selection and you're obviously on a new layer ready so then you can use your whole selection never do it on your original layer because then obviously if you say delete now you will directly have deleted all the data you have there okay 
So I hope this quick tutorial helped you guys to understand how to work with the quick selection mask. Please work way, way more with this and try it out, try different layers and try to work a little bit with this. Okay, so that was my quick tutorial on Photoshop and Basics part 10. I hope you guys are all ready for the next few upcoming tutorials. They're going to be way, way more advanced. -er. And if you guys still have any questions, please feel free to email me to team at manyphotography.co.za. My name is Manny. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.